Welcome to today's Adam's Cooling uh, tutorial video. Uh, you can find more of these videos at adamscoolinginc.com or easier uh, name is youracchoice.com. They'll both take you to the same place. Um, today what I want to quickly talk to you about is uh, thermostats. What you're going to be watching is two different videos. Um, I have one video of with this White Rogers uh, thermostat and the other one is um, actually a Honeywell thermostat that we installed before and I got some video footage of that. So we'll be mixing um, in between uh, the White Rogers and the Honeywell but it's basic. It's basically the same for all thermostats. So I'll explain what the letters mean and uh, you'll be all set with either one of them. This is a, a thermostat that we use. It's a White Rogers thermostat and it's non-programmable. And uh, I want to talk to you about installing one of these um, and kind of, you know, what they do. Um, you open the box. You have the thermostat itself, the base plate underneath, and it's the top right there. Some basic kind of instructions. Um, you have your anchors and your screws. Um, quickly about thermostats. Uh, the thermostat gets power from your uh, transformer, uh, which I'll talk about in another video what the transformer does, but uh, quickly the transformer um, takes 240 volts power and steps it down to 24 volts. So these are run on 24 volts uh, power. So if you, if, you're, if you do touch the wires or something, which I don't recommend, but um, it, it's, it, if you do get a zap, it's only going to be 24 volts. So uh, that's kind of nice instead of working with 240 volts where you're really going to feel it if um, if you get zapped. All right, but instead of chancing a zap, let's go ahead and turn off the breaker to our air handler. The air handler has the uh, transformer in it, which supplies power to uh, the thermostat. So um, these come from 24 volts from the transformer. Um, it also has, you know, the batteries... Uh, comes with batteries in here. The air handler, uh, for those who don't know, is your indoor unit. Uh, it's usually in your garage or it's in um, your attic. So power supplies the transformer, which supplies your thermostat. Now your thermostat, when you take this off the base plate, um, you'll be looking at this, which will be mounted to the wall. Now the way that you mount this to the wall is with these anchors. Um, you'll take a screwdriver, a, a, a thin flat blade screwdriver, um, you know, push it through the drywall, um, maybe a couple inches, or if you have a wood, if you have a wood uh, uh, stud on the back, you can uh, screw into that. But you'll uh, take a flat blade and just push it through there about an inch. Um, and, uh, and then you'll push the, uh, anchor through that hole and you can just kind of, you know, I usually use the back of the screwdriver just to, um, pound it in until it's flush with the wall and do the same thing on the other side. You want to use a, um, uh, a level to make sure that it's going to be nice and level and flush with the wall. And then you'll just, um, put this base plate up and... Make sure, obviously, that the uh, place where you're putting the screws is going to be um, is going to be in the same spot as these uh, screw spots here on this base plate. And you're going to put that in there, and then take the screws and put them on. So once you're looking at this, um, there's a couple things you want to keep in mind. Number one, it's usually set to gas right here, and you just want to switch that over. Uh, in most applications unless you have gas to electric so you'll switch that over to electric and um, and you know what are these letters here what do they mean C G uh, O Y uh, R C B R H and W 
Um, well, the main that you, the main ones you're going to worry about, unless you have a heat pump, um, is uh, is G, Y, R, C, and uh, W. Okay, and um, um, and then if you do have if you do want to use your common fifth wire, you would use C. So when you come to the um, wall where your thermostat is and you're changing the thermostat. Um, you're going to have a, a, a thermostat wire coming out and it'll have five, um, four or five smaller wires coming out. And so you just take a little screwdriver and put it in that Phillips uh, screw area, loosen it, drop the, um, uh, drop the, the wire in there and then screw it up. And what the G is, is the G uh, we'll just go letter by letter. The G is to your fan, your blower fan, and that's in your air handler, which we know what that is. And um, the Y is your compressor outside. So if you have a split system, remember that's going to have the air handler in the garage or attic, and it's going to have your condensing unit or condenser outside um, on the side of the house. And um, the Y it uh, actually goes, um, it, it energizes your compressor outside so that when, when your thermostat kicks on for cooling, um, it will kick on both the indoor unit by energizing the fan on the indoor and it'll kick on the outdoor unit by energizing the compressor on the outdoor. Also we have RC which is actually jumpered to RH and um, and just it's important for you to know the, the RC that's going to be your main red wire that's going to be your main power feed that's coming in from the air handler uh, therm um, transformer to your thermostat so uh, when it your thermostat senses it's time to come on uh, power will be sent from the transformer at your air handler to this red wire, which you'll put over here in RC. And, um, and W is going to be for your heat. So um, those are the main four ones. G is for your blower fan. Y is for your compressor outside. RC is for your, um, your main red wire, which is your uh, power coming in from your transformer, and W is for heat. And then I, we, we at Adams Cooling, we like to use that fifth wire if it's available there. Uh, some people have cut it off, um, but if it's available, we're going to use the fifth wire for the common. And again, that is going to energize your thermostat um, to, the, to the transformer, so if something happens to the batteries, um, it'll still be energized. So when you put this in, you'll put the base plate in first, screw it in here, and, um, and then you're going to make sure you turn this over to electric, and, um, and then you're going to pull out this tab right here. I mean, we do this all the time, so uh, pull out the tab, and that will start the thermostat. And then you'll put this, obviously, you, we went ahead and put the wires in as well because we need the wires in um, to access it. All right, we'll put this plate back on. And uh, once you turn the batteries on, it'll turn on and you'll just um, kind of set it up how you want to set it up. So um, that is the basics of a thermostat and um, and how to install it and what the different letters mean. I know when I first started out, I was like, what do all these letters mean? I'm confused. But it's pretty simple once you understand it. And uh, yeah, that's our um, video on thermostats. Uh, stay tuned for more videos. Uh, 